So YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm just going to show you guys the Apple Watch Series 4 that I got today in the post. So I got this off eBay, um, as you can see in this clip, I'm unboxing it. So the model that I actually got was a silver GPS model. So it's not one of the premium models with the stainless steel, um, it's one of the cheaper models of the Apple Watch Series 4, but that's all I need. So I actually won this Apple Watch on bid on eBay and I managed to get it for around £300, um, that's including postage. I managed to make a saving of about £100 um, for the watch. I've been wearing the watch now, I have it on my wrist right now, as you guys can see. Um, I have been wearing the Apple Watch now, I set it up 4 o'clock, it's now half 9. So I have been wearing the watch uh, and using it as my watch uh, now for a few hours and I have some first impressions to share with you. Um, so first impression um, I had was when I took it out of the box, I thought, oh my god, this looks amazing. And I noticed that the size was slightly bigger. This is because this is actually the 40 millimeter model, so the Apple Watch Series 4 came in two variants, which was the 40 millimeter and the 44 millimeter. Whereas the previous generation Apple Watch was the 38 millimeter and the 42, I think, yeah, 42. I had the 38 millimeter um, before I got this one. And the only reason I got this one, I would not have got the Apple Watch Series 4 if this hadn't have happened with my other one. As you can see in this footage, my Apple Watch is absolutely obliterated and I didn't even drop it. I didn't do anything to it and it just did that. Basically what happened with my Apple Watch Series 3 is I was out and about, I had it on my wrist and I scratched it and basically then, um, after I scratched it, um, the ridge, it had like a whole scratch around the whole kind of face. didn't actually scratch the face, it just scratched the frame around the face. And then gradually as each day went on, like the scratch, the kind of, the ridge got deeper and deeper and deeper. And then I was just like hanging out with my girlfriend and I went to lift my wrist. Like just, I just did that and the next thing the face just popped off. And that's what happened to my Apple Watch Series 3. But first impressions of the Apple Watch Series 4 is I love the bigger size. You know, I thought, oh yeah, I'll not really notice it because it's like kind of the same size frame. When I get text messages through, I'm actually able to read the text more comfortably than what I was on the Series 3. I do really like the silver color as well, if you guys can see it. You see the silver color. It's also thinner than the Apple Watch Series 3. I noticed that as well. It's slightly thinner. You can put more complications on the watch face. I'm not a person that's big into complications. I know people, some people have like a shit ton. I have, I swap between watch faces depending on what I'm doing. So if I have a busy day, I'll have a watch face with like calendar and messages, stuff on it. Whereas if I'm just on a chill day, I'll just have photos. I got a little photo album that circles through my watch. I change my watch face up depending on what I'm doing that day. Something else I was excited for with the uh, Series 4 Apple Watch was the fact that I could take an ECG, um, um, which is like with the heart rate thing, on the watch. Turns out you have to be 22 to take one, which basically means by the time I'm upgrading my watch, I'll be able to take an ECG on this one. So I have to wait two years before I can take an ECG on my Apple Watch. Kinda sucks. Something else about the Apple Watch Series 4 that I noticed is that when you spin the dial, um, the little crown, the digital crown, it actually has haptic feedback. The haptic feedback on the Series 4 is really, really nice. The taps feel more prominent. 
like the digital crown feels like you're actually moving a watch crown uh, when it's activated. It is so cool and I really really love that haptic feedback. And last thing that I love about the Apple Watch uh, Series 4 so far, I can use all of my uh, watch bands with the Series 4, which is really good. So this is my old one, I put it on the Series 4 because it's the most comfortable. I don't actually like the sport bands that usually come with the Apple Watch, so I had the pink sport band for my 38 and I had, and obviously I got the white sport band along with this one today. I have also got the woven nylon um, strap along with my 38mm Apple Watch. I like it and I really want another one but it's got so dirty because it was white it just picked up all the dirt so I really need to find a way of getting that washed before I can use it but I really do like wearing the woven nylon bands for when I'm going to somewhere a bit more important and I want my watch to look like cool. I was thinking of investing in like a proper leather strap for my Apple Watch as well for fancy things but I just never got around to it and I don't have the money really. But I think that's everything I have to tell you guys about the Apple Watch Series 4. So this is my first impressions video and my unboxing. If you enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to ding that bell or else YouTube won't not notify you that I have uploaded. And also show a button some love. I'm like hoping that I hit 200 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, if my voice is a bit weird, it's because I have a cold. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.